Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. We're looking at it in His Image devotional Bible. You know, that's what we're supposed to be is in His Image. That's the will of God. It's in the NLT, which those of you that watch the channel know I'm not a great fan of the NLT, but we look at these based on what is in here. So we're going to look at the In His Image Bible. We're going to see, you know, if it's good print, if the study notes are helpful, that type thing. Again, that is the will of God to be is in the image of Jesus Christ. We we're originally created in the image of God, and then obviously we're supposed to, by the power of His Holy Spirit and His love, be transformed into the image of God. So the boxing is great. And so let's see if we can get this open here. Also, you know, I was thinking in His image, one of the greatest books ever written by Paul Brand and uh, William Yancey, is it Yancey and Brand, is uh, in His image. If you haven't read it, it's one of those like five or ten books that I recommend everybody should read. It is absolutely fantastic. So it's in their wonderful leather soft. You know, there's all these proprietary petroleum based leathers. Let's see what they call theirs. Leather-like. I know Thomas Nelson's leather soft and I think maybe Holman's is leather touch. So this is leather-like. But they are not the imitation leathers of old. They are lasting for years. They are just a, a tad below like genuine leathers. That's the reason bonded leathers have really kind of almost disappeared from the market because these are equal or better than bonded leathers. And it even has the stitching around it like, you know, quality genuine leathers. And it's stitched uh, outside and, and we'll see if we can get zeroed in on that inside as well. So like only the finest, you know, leather journals and things have that stitching. And here we are in a, a just a Bible that is, you know, not premium that has that. another neat thing that's been going on. And this is not doing so good. But anyhow, they've been um, Smith sewing most Bibles. Now I'm not totally sure if this one's Smith sewn. So it looks like there's some glue marks on here. Has great silver edging though. It's just a really good size Bible. This is the size Bible I take to church. As a matter of fact, here is the Bible I take to church. And you can see it's almost identical. It's actually a little smaller than the Cambridge large print I take to church. It does only come with one ribbon marker. Which that's another thing I'm very thankful that Bible manufacturers have been doing, putting uh, multiple ribbon markers. This is the prime time for Bibles in the world. So no doubt about it. There's never been a time where you can get as much variety, inexpensive. In much of the world, you're not getting killed for having one. Thank the Lord for that. Boy, it's done really good. Whoever designed this did a good job. You know, Tyndale is up there towards Wheaton and Carroll Stream, Illinois. There's a few like epicenters of, of Christian publishing in America. You've got the Hendrickson brothers up in Peabody, Massachusetts. You've got the traditional Baker and Zondervan and Erdman and Kriegel at Grand Rapids. And then you have your David C. Cooks and your Tyndales in Chicago area. And then you have the uh, Thomas Nelson, Broadman, Holman, there in Nashville, Tennessee. So that's just kind of some things. I remember word publishing used to be out in Texas. So let's see here what it's got. I'll just show you this page because it's got what this Bible contains. Now, it says it's a devotional Bible. So whenever a devotional Bible is just going to be different, it's not going to be giving you necessarily a lot of facts and figures, but it's going to be encouraging you to live the Christian life, which is what we want to do, you know, because you can know all the facts and figures that you want. And if you don't live the Christian life, you're not going to make it. If you love me, Jesus said, keep my commandment. So New Living Translation introduction to the NLT in his image now let's see here we're trying to get to remember my mom used to lick her fingers I always wonder why do you do this so this is uh, oh this is just who translated the NLT which that's for another video I've got a video on the NLT 
he gets a lot of views. Obviously, there's a little bit of curiosity about that. Okay, the In His Image User's Guide. Okay, the In His Image Devotional Bible Features, Prayerful Readings, How to Practice the Prayerful Reading. Uh, before you begin reading, begin with a time of silence. Allow yourself to listen. Read the scripture passage provided. Don't let yourself rush on to the next thing right away. Response to God articles, God's names and titles. Book introductions. I'm glad it's got that. Uh, character of God articles. That's good. Reading features. The image in his image reading guide prayerful reading index response to god article god's names and titles divine attributes the master it kind of reminds me of that spangler bible and spangler the names of god bible so in his image reading guide so this is something you can just go through and uh, read you know because when we know the attributes of god you know we tend to think of god as this amorphous spirit and he is god is a spirit but he's also a personal god he is both transcendent he's above us but he's also imminent he cares about us and he's all around us the holy spirit's been poured out upon all flesh so that is a very important uh, point He's unchanging, so that's you know, he's the Lord. He changes not. It's called the immutability of God. It's got several pages of this, so it's going to have quite a bit of notes in here. And then, see, I like even how this is done, like the Old Testament. It's got it kind of in blue. The Bible, by far, still. And you'd never know this reading the New York Times bestseller list, you know, nonfiction. Go on Amazon.com, New York Times bestseller list, Amazon. But by far the best-selling book, and we know it's more than a book, it's God's Word, it's Scripture, every year is the Bible. It sells tens of millions of copies just in the U.S. alone. Okay, so the purpose to teach the new nation of Israel about God's purpose for their journey to Canaan, the review of God's purpose in human history, verses that reveal God's character, meeting God in Genesis, God is all-powerful, God is sovereign, that is true, Spirit, I will praise Him for His presence is among us. And then it says the Spirit is third person of the Trinity, the Bible doesn't say that, but... That's what this says. Okay, God is all-powerful. Reflection, because God is all-powerful, I can do anything with His help. You know, and we need to qualify what uh, anything is. Here's just a look at what you're looking at. It, it doesn't have references. The uh, subheadings, the paragraph headings, don't stand out. Uh, the print looks like a very solid nine-point print. I didn't look that up beforehand. That's just a guess. You know, print is so subjective. You can have an incredibly readable nine-point print, especially with these comfort prints that they're coming out with. Holman, Nelson led the way in that, I think. Nelson did. Um, and then a 12-point print that's just terrible. It has bleed through and it's not spaced right. And it's just terrible. So this is a very readable Bible to me. So it does hit a sweet spot of a good size Bible, a lot of readability. And uh, Yahweh, I will worship him by name. Of course, I've done a video on why Jehovah is actually, even though that's totally out of mainstream scholarship, uh, Jehovah is probably the correct or the closest way to say it, not Yahweh. A um, lot there, though. God is creator because God is creator. I will value his good creation, create beauty and goodness wherever I go. I'll let you look at that page, too. So you can just kind of see that that's kind of cool. So now, if you're like me, I really wouldn't read the NLT uh, at all. Now, there was a time in my life I would. I'd use it like a commentary, you know, read my King James and then read it and see, well, what was that trying to say? But where I'm at right now, I, I wouldn't read it at all. So I would just be reading the things on the side. And uh, let's go to a introduction like a First Kings doing all kind of stuff. Adonai, because God is called Adonai. Uh, the Apostle James warned his readers not to be double-minded. See, that's good stuff. So this is like what an introduction. So it's not going to be a traditional introduction like, uh, you know, who wrote it so much, when it was written, 
you know how did he get his title just uh, outlines it's it's going to be a devotional Bible and that's it's very plain you know we've got the Spurgeon study Bible the Spurgeon devotional Bible out now Matthew Henry devotional Bible so there's a lot of different devotional Bibles out and this daily devotionals anything that draws somebody closer to God is a wonderful thing God is all-knowing a lot of good stuff what are you saying to me Lord we praise you Lord God is righteous Elyon I will praise him as supreme above all else song of songs Redeemer spirit I will do his work in the world by his power uh, Redeemer is a legal title used of God that's a good thing because Christ come of us our wisdom righteousness sanctification redemption Yahweh Shema I will celebrate his constant presence the Lord is there Ezekiel 48 35 also it's got a lot of good stuff for God's name so somebody like me puts a lot of emphasis because the scripture does on the name of God that would be very helpful for me we're going to see if there's something in between the Old and the New Testament does not look like it it does have another when you get to the New Testament good thing um Son of Man is a title Jesus used of himself. So it's not red letter. We'll let you see that. Some like red letter. Some don't. I do love the deep chocolate brown with the kind of a soft teal silver color scheme. Really good. I'm glad there's no gold on here. Um, just because it, it looks so elegant. The impressions on this proprietary leather it just looks really good god is merciful use the armor of god provides for this battle because god is all powerful i will use the armor see that's just good stuff because god is truth i'll believe what he says and live accordingly who can argue with that I, because god is righteous i will seek to live by his standards yeah that's that's a good thing so God is sovereign. Let's see what's in the back. Because God is unchanging. I'm confident in that. Okay, the character of God. Articles. He's the morning star. Okay, so character of God. Articles. God is faithful. God is all powerful. God is righteous. So it's got a lot of God is unchanging. Got a prayerful reading series, series, excuse me, God is love. I'll let you see this page because it kind of gives you the uh, God articles on the right and then a reading plan on the left. There's several pages of the articles. So that is just good. If you notice me like sweating, it was about 95 here in Albany today, and we do this in a particular part of my house. I don't run the AC. I save money. So I turned the AC on a few hours ago, but it is still hot. <laughs> Got the ceiling fan going, but if we do it too fast, it will blow stuff. Okay, so God's names and title index. So this is really good. Abir, Israel, the mighty one of Israel, Adonai, Abba advocate see this is good quality stuff especially on the names of God so you can teach a series let's say we're using this for a youth Sunday school class or even a children's Sunday school class to teach the names of God just great good stuff and it's got a few pages I'll just turn to two here on that particular subject God is ever present so divine attributes of the master index see God is love God is merciful God is a fortress God is a high priest he's a father he's a bread of life uh, Christ God is truth all kinds so then it's got some blank pages in the back for reading and these thick pages spine stabilization pages with a beautiful uh, thick brown um, end page and uh, obviously it's not going to be leather line but a nice bible leather line bible sheet let's see if i've got my ruler here we need to let god be our ruler amen 
Give Satan an inch, he'll become your ruler. Give Satan an inch, he'll take a mile. Stuff I was raised with. It's about eight and a half inches by, wow, less than five and a half. So, I mean, that's just good stuff. And I measure, I don't measure, I measure real world. I don't do the book block. Like if you go on Tyndale's website or something or Nelson's, they'll measure the book block. But I'm like, well, and it's, it doesn't have like a semi yap. It's got maybe an eighth of an inch overhang. I don't think it's any more than an eighth of an inch overhang. So the in his image Bible, merciful, personal, spirit, righteous, sovereign, truth, unchanging, all-knowing, all-powerful, creator. You know, some people would say, well, that's the NSA. No, that's just a joke. It is God Almighty. Hallelujah. So the in his image study Bible and the box, they've even the packaging of Bibles has really increased. It's you got the, I mean, it's just a, and they're solid. Used to Bible boxes used to collapse all around us. Now they're solid. So God bless the in his image Bible, NLT, devotional Bible. Talk with you later in Jesus name.